Kenyan leaders have paid tribute to the Kitui West Member of Parliament, Francis Nyenze, who died early this morning at the Nairobi Hospital. He had been battling cancer of the colon for a decade and suffering from pneumonia for several months. Leaders across the political divide eulogized him as a reconciliatory, open-minded and dedicated leader who all, always spoke his mind. And as Rita Tinina reports, his wife Edith recounted conversations with her husband in the last few weeks where he asked her to let him go. He's a very humble leader. Mm. Nyenze. At the Lee Funeral Home, Edith Nyenze, the late Francis Monzia Nyenze's wife, led family members, friends and politicians who gathered here following the death of the Kitui West MP and former minority leader. Nyenze died at 7.50 a.m. at the Nairobi Hospital where he had been admitted for the last three weeks. Francis uh, Nyenze has battled uh, cancer of the colon uh, for the last 10 years. From around 2008, but he was treated, it was okay, it came back in 2013. During campaigns ahead of the August 8th general election, his health got worse. He contracted uh, pneumonia, uh, by which time uh, the lungs had really been weakened by the, the original illness. On the 31st of August, during the swearing-in of members of parliament, he went to the National Assembly chambers with an oxygen tank as he took his oath. He made a joke of it, saying he wanted to get ahead of the queue. Edith recounted conversations with her husband over the last one month in which he asked her, Please release me. I'm ready. I've served the people and I'm right with God and I'm ready to go. Leaders who gathered at the Lee Funeral Home eulogized him as a leader with a voice of reason. We also remember him for being a very reconciliatory person. Francis is one person who has been very accommodative of divergent views. When you're talking about sobriety and maturity in the politics of this country, Honorable Nyenze had his place. The Kambani nation has really lost a great leader. From Germany, Waipa leader Kalonzo Musioka sent his condolence message as NASA leader Raila Odinga, President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto eulogized Nyenze as a reconciliatory and open-minded leader. In Parliament, MPs dedicated part of the afternoon session to pay tribute to Nyenze, who was serving his third term in Parliament. Francis Nyenze was a, a soft-spoken man. But Francis Nyenze was a man who stood for what he thinks. He had wisdom, experience that many of us lacked. So at times, I'm arrogant. Sometimes, uh, I'm big-headed. But through Nyenze, Mr. Speaker, today I'm a better person. He was very, very accommodating. In Kitui West, residents too mourned their leader. Ahead of the August elections, as NASA strategized on how to pick its presidential candidate, Nyenze threatened that Waipa would go it alone if Kalonzo Musioka was not picked as a NASA flag bearer. It will be a very a difficult task to convince the Kamba nation the, to play the second fidu when they played that in 2013. He was later to cause controversy when he and former Kitui Senator David Musila praised the Jubilee government's development record in Ukambani. <laughs> One of the senior politicians from Mukambani, the 62-year-old graduate of the University of Nairobi, was first elected to parliament in the year 1997 on a Kanu ticket and was appointed environment minister. He was transferred to the Ministry of Heritage and Sports in the year 2001. In the 2002 elections, he lost the seat to Nyiva Mwendwa. The seat was won by Charles Nyamai in the 2007 elections before Nyenze made a comeback to parliament in the 2013 general election on a wiper ticket and was picked as minority leader. The father of three successfully defended the Kitui West seat in the August 8th elections. <laughs> 
to his wife, Edith. The best thing that God has ever given me. He was a very loving husband, a politician, but faithful to the family, faithful to the wife, a Christian. He has really served people so well. Rita Tinina, KTN News.